All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel here. So I just wanna give you a quick video um, walking through a failure I had here with my reverse osmosis uh, or RO system here for water filtration for drinking water. Uh, you can see this is a under sink or under cabinet sink unit here, which is pretty popular or typical in most of your big box stores um, that you can get. Uh, so this is a very compact system here, common in the big box stores, like I said. This is the most, probably the more prevalent um, setup that you can get on the market today. But I want to show this video here to share a leak that I had kind of form here on the actual faucet system. So um, I was due for filter replacements here as well. Um, so I went through and replaced the filters here. But more importantly, I had this leak here with this faucet. So most of these undermount sink units that you get today have, I will rotate this here to show you. They have this air gap vent here. So it's air gap, they call it, or a bleed valve vent. This is essentially the same concept as a plumbing in your house, like your sink or your bathtub, where you have an air vent to kind of create the velocity for proper drainage of uh, wastewater or drain water. So same concept with this. I was getting water, you know, pooling up here as the system would purge, which these things do constantly. So essentially once you fill up a glass of water, for example, uh, this system is constantly cycling and purging. So you get the fresh water, filtered water, and then it's coming back into the waistline here. So. Long story short, I had water pulling up throughout my whole countertop here, down into the sink. Fortunately, that's where most of it went. And pretty common with these. So I went through with the filter replacement, um, I and then I ran the RO system here to kind of flush it through. Still had water pulling up in here. And lo and behold here, I had build up in this black line. So you can see there's several different supply lines here and circulation lines to the actual filtration system here, as well as the pressure tank over here in this kit. And then I said your black line here is your drain line, which feeds into your main sink drain line. So um, I popped this off. You can see it's a slip fit here, a compression fit where you just push the black little fitting in here and then they just slide right out like that. So. Luckily, it's not purging right now, so there's no water running through here, but maybe a little bit of drip there. So before the system wouldn't even do that. Um, so what I did to start was I took a, like a bamboo skewer here. You could probably use like a cotton swab or a small screwdriver as well. I opted for this bamboo skewer um, to get further up the actual drain line. So I just ran this up through here, you know, and I got quite a ways up here and that did help break some things loose here. So essentially what's going on is uh, this vent line here or waistline was building up with garbage disposal build up or matter from when you run your garbage disposal with your sink. It comes to the drain here and some of it was basically seeping or pulling into this drain line. So over time that just kind of built up and got to the point where it was so bad that it basically became a full clog. Therefore, the this wastewater here from the RO system was not draining through here properly like it should. Um, so then what does it do? It basically pulls up all the way up and, let, and uh, starts to leak through the system until it goes through the full purging process. So again, like I said, I started through with a simple skewer Got a good amount of stuff up or build up out of there, but I still wasn't convinced that um, I got enough or got everything before I could turn the water system back on here and run it. So next what I did was use common air duster here. This is with um, electronics or just used for cleaning off surfaces. I use it quite a bit for that, cleaning surfaces or pressuring things. So you can see I just necked this down. It came with this little spout here kind of like WD-40 or other products with uh, uh, aerosol cans do and I was able to just basically neck this down 
I think I got about one or two inches down like that and was able to shoot house air Let's see, like that I can do it um now the air is back pressuring there so what I had to do it's tough to show here as I'm filming with one hand but I used a rubber glove like just a painter's rubber glove or shop glove you could also use like a towel and just uh once you put the the stem or the neck of the hose down here or the straw like so um then you can come with your hand here at the same time basically so you have the straw coming down and you can cap the rest of this valve here i'll zoom in there for you to give you a better view to just plug that to then truly force the air to push through which will run down to that black line and what that'll do is it's basically clearing the rest of this line of any matter um, and that took care of it so um, you may uh, see your valve here on the back like the instance of mine this is a GE brand RO system some of them are I'll turn this back front here but that's how it should look normally at the front so you can see mine was completely on the back some are on the bottom here and then some are even on the side so just look for that vent that you have and again it's a velocity vent stack just like most plumbing in your house has uh, to allow airflow with the vent to get proper drainage of of your water so anyways guys hope this video helped so the combination of this like i said i started with like a bamboo skewer i could use other things too that are long like that to try and get most of it out most of the buildup was kind of right in this area but i opted to shoot the air through here so these two things um to really get that running through and so now, as you saw with some of that water coming through, if I can get this off again, excuse me. There we go. You can see no problem to get water coming through. And obviously when it's purging, it's it's running full, um, full bore through there. So we're back in business now. So I hope this uh, video helps you out if you're having an issue with, like I said, leaking coming out the purge valve here in the back very common thing if you run a garbage disposal in your sink um, to see that happen. So hope this tip helps you. Thanks.